hi everyone. Welcome to my eight week pregnancy vlog. Um, today I am eight weeks, four days pregnant. Um, I'm feeling, ooh, I'm feeling pretty good. Just don't wobble that baby. Yeah, it could break. Well, because when you wobble it, the phone might fall down. Mummy's doing her video right now. I had started this video, but then Paul went, Mummy, wee wees. So I had to race her to the toilet. Um, she potty trained about two months ago when she was 19 months old. Um, but we're still like at that point where she can hold for about 30 seconds and then it's going to come out. Um, I'm feeling really good tired just like a general sort of rundown feeling but i am also shooting my tv show a discovery of witches um, i've only got two weeks left of work so um depending on the week uh i either work six days of the week or five days of the week and about um 12 to 14 hours a day so it's a lot um Okay, it's a bit bright here. Yeah? Is that a bit bright for your for your face? Is that too bright? Mm -hmm. You have very sensitive eyes. Mm -hmm. Um, so I've been working so much, and since um the Christmas break, um, it's been pretty non-stop. And last week, I was working really long hours, and then I'd come home, and obviously parent, but also do um press because season two of Discovery of Witches came out. So I'd come home, put the kids to bed, then be on the phone again for like an hour and a half. Hey darling, if you pull that, my phone will fall down. Um, doing press stuff. So it, it's just been a really busy week and I'm feeling really tired because of it. Um, I, 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 I still have... Can mummy keep talking? Can mummy keep talking? Can I keep doing my my vlog? No. Yeah, mommy do. Yeah, can mommy do? Mommy do. Yeah. Thanks, babe. Um, she's so funny. That's all I have to do with her. Is like, is it okay if mommy does, or can mommy have? And she'll like at first be like, no, no, and then I see her like empathy come in, and she'll be like, oh, mommy do, mommy do. So sweet, I love you so much. This is just the best age. I am loving it with her. She's just gorgeous and being so super cute and the personality's coming out. And, um, but yeah, anyway, so I'm just feeling uh in general quite uh run down. Um I haven't got sick or anything. Uh, I've I've noticed that I'll think I'm getting that one did break. This is a very cheap one. This one did break. Um, cheap. <laughs> cheap. Yeah, this one broke. That's okay. You can still play with it like that. Um, oh, what was I just saying? I think I just had a total mental blank. Anyway, um, I have been... Oh, yeah, I've been getting... Oh, I think I'm about to get sick. So I'll have, like, really stuffy nose... And I'll be starting to feel that, that um, you know, run down feeling that you get when you think you're going to get sick. And then it stays for about 24 hours and then it leaves again. And that's been happening every sort of three or four weeks. So I've been waiting for me to have a full-blown sickness, but it hasn't happened yet. Um, I'll have like a runny nose for one day and then it just goes away. So... That's been great. I've been taking these iron sachets. Um, I forgot the name of them, but actually my doctor prescribed them to me. Um, I met this lovely doctor here in Carter, Dr. Marina. Um, hi, babe. And she just looked at me and was like, you're anemic. Uh, and, and she's right, because even though I haven't had my bloods done, every pregnancy without fail, I have anemia. And it, this was... Throughout all the pregnancies, so, you know, I've had, I was eating, uh, I was a pescatarian for my first two pregnancies, um, vegan for my second two, um, and just across the board, it doesn't matter, because I, I can just see those people being like, well, it's because you don't eat meat, but it's not true. Um, oh, there are so many amazing iron-rich foods that you can get from plant-based foods, but um, in pregnancy, all that goes out the window is just, I'm stripped of iron. 
Uh, and I think that's probably why I'm not feeling 100% um, energy levels. And also because I'm working so much and I'm not sleeping. Um, I'm not sleeping all through the night because I'm still breastfeeding this little one. But I was thinking, I have a friend um, back in Adelaide who has a baby boy the same age. And she said she just night weaned him. Um, and so I was thinking, because she's just so verbal and communicative, um, that in the next coming months, I'll start saying, oh, Booby's gone to sleep now. Um, so that through the night, Booby's sleeping. Because she sometimes, if I'm if I'm in the middle of... Um, Booby sleeping, that's right. Sometimes if I'm in the middle of work or I have to go on set and she wants to breastfeed, I'll say, oh, yeah, Booby, boobies are asleep. Yeah. Thanks, baby. Okay. And, um, and she listens to me. So I thought maybe I could potentially um, try doing that in the next coming months. Hi, babe, I'm doing my fancy vlog. Um, so, yeah, just... For eight weeks, feeling pretty similar to our, to seven weeks, which is sort of food aversions, like just not feeling. I used to be obsessed with popcorn, obsessed with having boba tea all the time. Um, I'm still obsessed with avocado toast, which is my non-negotiable. I have it every day. Um, I still like crave that. But the other things I'm just not feeling, I've been really craving uh, juices actually, green juices and uh, any sort of healthy juice I really love. But food in general, I went back and looked at my um, forest and poet vlogs. I think poets are slamming something on the ground. Um, my pregnancy vlogs with them and it's the same sort of feeling. So it's just like not really caring that much about food, but knowing I need to have it. Cause if I don't eat food, I feel really nauseous. Um, so foods just take it or leave it, but I still make myself eat the food because I get sick otherwise. Um, no cravings. I generally don't get any cravings. And then, um, just, yeah, just off my typical favorite foods, which is a bit sad. Um, I'd have a bag of popcorn almost every night. And right now I'm like, meh, don't really feel like it. Last night I got home for dinner and Susie, my friend who's living here with us in Wales, she was like, what do you want for dinner? I was like, oh, nothing really. And I ended up having just crackers and some vegan cheese and that was it. Um, I am very puffy. I've put on uh, about, okay, so when I, when I first weighed myself, I was about 117 pounds. Um, and I weighed myself this morning, I'm 119 pounds. So two pounds so far. Um, but I'm feeling in general, just kind of sluggish and sort of heavier. Obviously, like the biggest symptom is my stomach. My stomach, it's like, it just knows. The moment I'm pregnant, it's like, oh, this is what I do. And like gives me a massive bump. So it's quite hard, um, hard to hide it at work. And I think I mentioned that last week. So I've just told everyone. Everyone just knows, which is sort of vulnerable because I'm only eight and a half weeks pregnant and you never know what can happen with a pregnancy. Um, but I guess I'm feeling confident in a sense because a, a few reasons. Um, I have been feeling quite sick. So generally that's, that tells you that your HCG is really rising and um, continuing to rise. So that's a positive sign they say. Um, the other reason why I'm feeling confident is because just this baby decided to come when it decided to come and I for whatever reason I can't envision this amazing surprise happening and then sort of just being taken away again but maybe who knows you never know um but I think because it's just been such divine timing and not what we expected um we have a feeling that this baby really has a plan <laughs> and um and wants to be here and um and so I guess Maybe that's also wishful thinking. I'm not sure. Hello, Bobby. Um, oh, you're going to sit there. Um, so we'll see. I hope that everything. Mom, 
is going well and baby is healthy. Oh, today, this afternoon, I'm getting this thing called um, a sneak peek blood test, which basically helps, um, <laughs> it, it gives you an idea, it, not 100%, with 100% certainty, but it gives you an idea of if you're having a boy or a girl. Um, and we're just kind of doing it for fun. We were gonna leave it as, as a surprise, but my husband's not about that. And I was like, oh, no, really? It should be a surprise because we don't have a preference either way. Um, we just want a healthy baby. And I'm like, what a lovely surprise. We've never done that before. But then um, my husband was just like, no, I want to know everything. I want to know that the baby's healthy. I want to know who's in there. I want to call them by their name um, in the belly. So anyway, we have our boy's name. We have our girl's name. Uh, right now, I've been dreaming boy. Um, I've been dreaming that it's my little boy. That one got oh, and even more broken now. Oops, more broken. That's okay. Do you know that's the cool thing about Lego? You can just you can uh, freestyle and just sort of stick some pieces back on there. Okay, yeah. Um, get creative, girl. You just start sticking those together. Yeah. So I've been dreaming boy, but I'm feeling girl a lot of the time um, because the pregnancy seems so similar. Like poets from this pregnancy. Um, yeah, so I actually think I'm 50 50. I just, I just don't know. Um, oh, I suddenly got butterflies. I don't know why. Um, oh, just because it's, it's so exciting, but also because, um, oh, I just feel so in love with this little baby already and who they are. And um, I've really wrapped my head around the idea of having five kids with Isaac, my stepson, um, running around and like, who is this little person going to be? And I think Poet in particular is just going to adore having a little person to take care of, a baby to take care of. You can bath the baby and you can stroke the baby and get the baby dressed with mama and the baby has milkies. Um, she loves doing all those things with her dolls. So I just, I can envision her with the baby being so sweet and hands-on and wanting to be part of it all. Um, so that's really, really lovely. So I just hope little bubs in there is, is good and healthy and we can get through the next few weeks um, uh, without any issues. So um, blood test today for the sneak peek. Uh, and then those results come, we should have them I'd say the 21st of January. Um, and then I haven't, no one's broken. That's okay, that's a cool thing about Lego. It's okay if it breaks. Um, and then we have our NIPT test on the 26th of January, uh, when I'm like nine and a half weeks along. So that's, uh, that'll be good, that'll be really, really good just to get that done have another scan see how baby's doing see the heartbeat again and just kind of move towards the end of the first trimester which is always so scary and, and also challenging because people are sick and you're just unsure how your baby's going you can't feel your baby um yeah so i'll show you my tummy uh. Don't mind my. My big tummy. Yeah, who's in here? Baby. Do you think it's a baby brother or baby sister? A baby sister. Yeah, I might be wishful thinking. Okay, so that's the. Uh, should we show the front? This is the front. And this is the side. So I feel like not. And the sides. Not as big right now. And the side, yeah. Oh, you want to show the other side? Okay. Probably look exactly the same. There we go. All right. We're going to say bye now. Bye. And we'll see you next week. Bye. You press the red button.